Hi everyone, in this video I'll be doing a review on Moonshot Honey Coverlet Eyeshadow Palette as well as doing a makeup look for you guys in the end. So let's first talk about the packaging. It is a very nice, sweet, warm toned beige color and you can see from the size it is actually very well compact, very travel friendly and it just fit on the palm like of my hand, you know, so it's definitely very small. I was actually very surprised with the packaging but I was definitely very very surprised with the mirror size because it is actually a decent size of mirror which means that when you actually travel with this you don't need any other extra mirror and again it has 10 eyeshadows inside two of them are shimmers but the rest of them are actually matte now the main focal point for this particular eyeshadow is supposed to give you like a cozy sweet soft feeling but at the same time giving you like that blanket texture which I'm presuming is like a soft texture so let's talk about the colors so the first one is actually sweet candle which is like a light white peachy shade but on me when you apply it, you just see that shimmer white sparkly the next one I actually really like this color and this is a firewood which is like a has like a red undertone but at the same time you can see a little bit of orange and also have like this goldy beige um, glitter inside and the texture wise you don't feel the glitter you just you just see the shimmer and the shininess which is pretty awesome next this is more like a highlight you know to highlight your brow bones and stuff like not really highlight your cheek but just to highlight your eyes and this is just like your typical white color which I thought was really nice for them to feature such a nice color like this because sometimes you do need colors like this to actually highlight your brow bone now next this is warm cashmere which doesn't really suit me because of my warm skin tone when I actually do apply this you can't really see it on my skin however warm cashmere is great if you want to use it as like a base color and then layer another color on top which will definitely be nicer if you're not planning on using primer or just you want to make the other eyeshadow color more pigmented now next this a cinnamon milk tea which is a very nice beigey color which is great for transition shade which I like to use to just apply onto the my crease which you guys will see very soon just to help deepen my eyes next you have nutty brown which I really like because it's a very nice warm tone brown like a neutral brown shade which I've really feel like it's sort of essential in any eyeshadow palette because these are colors that I would use to help me blend my eyeshadows but also transition my eye color my eyeshadow I mean now next this is cream tan and again this is same thing I feel like this is more like a base color for me rather than using it on its own because if I do use it on its own it would just look very pale on my eyes however I like how pigmented it is as well so I would definitely use it as a base now next this is antique rug and I really like this a light peachy shade because it's a very beautiful shade and it's definitely pretty buttery as well but you can see gliding it all is not as pigmented as expected but again it's great for base color now next you have dusty rose rose which I really like on my eyes because it actually really complement my warm skin tone so I really like this color a lot this is very beautiful pinky peachy mauvey looking eyeshade now last color which is obviously my favorite because i do need to have like a dark color in an eyeshadow palette and this is rustic chair and i'm very surprised with this texture because usually when you try eyeshadow like this it tends to be chalky however this one did not have any fallout it just blends out very smoothly so overall all of these eyeshadows they actually do feel like butter on your finger when you actually glide it onto your eyes or on, on my arm swatch for example it actually is very very smooth applies on easily however you can see it just leans towards much of that softer looking it is definitely not as opaque as you know other eyeshadows i've tried but to be honest this is my first time using moonshot eyeshadow so i'm actually pretty impressed with you know the turnout of this and in regards of you know the colors applying on my eyes I actually like the turnout so I would recommend this one more for people who are 
um, who are used to natural makeup rather than those intense makeup this would be great and this is definitely great for like travel wise which I'll probably be using it on my next travel so let's get started on a makeup look now to the first color I'm using as a transition shade is nutty brown as you can see it is actually pretty opaque as a transition color which I was actually very surprised when I first used it because I didn't expect it to be that pigmented but it did and next what I'm using as a base is actually antique rust rust Rock, I don't know why I say that rock, which is like a nice warm gray tone mauve shade and then on the outer part of my eye I am using dusty rose just to blend out and take rock and just give you like that transition shade so you can see I'm leaning towards more of that mauve soft makeup look and just taking your time with this and then I'm going with rustic chair which is a darker shade in the palette and just applying on the end part of my outer part of my eye and blending it into my crease and just taking my time just blend 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 and I really like that you can actually layer this eyeshadow up so it that you know a little goes a long way and you can get darker after that to finish this I'm just using firewood on the inner part of my eye to give me that sh um, shimmer on my eyes now for the lower lash line I'm just going back with rustic chair just to deepen my eye and you can see it just gave me such a nice sweet soft makeup look like I actually am very impressed with this particular eyeshadow look I just feel like it's very natural but at the same time give you a little bit like spark to your eye you know and then to finish off I'm using sweet candle for the inner part of my eye to so just give me that little bit of shimmer and then I'm using cream tan oh sorry um soft pillow to apply onto my brow bone so this is the final eye makeup look so I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys on my next video bye